What is up, you guys? This is the Wire Rabbit, and welcome to the Raven. Um, I don't know much about this game, so without further ado, let us just get right in. Is there only that? What? <laughs> I don't know. Let's just start the game and see where it takes us. A land of journey and adventure. I'm assuming we're the cop that it showed at the beginning. This stupid mask has gone through so much wear and tear that the elastic is just falling off. I turned the music off. <laughs> I turned the music off for copyright reasons. This isn't fair. <laughs> also, I'm still on the very little soda kick, so... Dasani, you know what to do. <laughs> That's loud in my ear holes. Luckily, I have something to turn the volume down. Um, whether or not. Really, Miss Penguin. <gasps> A feather. That's a very even. <laughs> The Raven's heir. <laughs> Soon as one of them's caught, another one takes his place. Hey, Harold, have you Harold. read this? Harold? <laughs> Harold? Harold? Harold! Harold! Where are you? Harold, you hear me? This is no time for fun and games. I I saw you. <laughs> okay, so we're English, English game. Oh, calm down, oh, a copper. It's we're a, on the same side. A copper? What are you doing? It's here? a copper. And where's Harold? Harold? Oh. There's another guard back there, unconscious. That's probably him. The eye of the Sphinx. Where is it? It's there. Oh, good. Then he hasn't got it yet. You mean... the raven's heir? Shh! Turn it off! <laughs> He's gonna steal the eye. But... how do you know? Doesn't matter. All that matters is that we how catch do you him. Know? Do you understand? Yeah, but... Do you understand? You and me, mate, we'll be heroes. All right, now, we just have to... It's gone, isn't it? What? Yep, <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Hold! You can't turn Stop. your back for a second! You're under arrest! Something tells me that wasn't part of the plan. Mainly just from the way he's looking. The Ray. Remastered. So, I don't actually know what the original title of the game was. Just from the sheer fact that I don't actually know what this game is. Oh, oh, oh. Sounds like that, um. Sounds like the start to like a Disney movie, like Snow White or something. I expect little blue birds to come flying across the screen and landing on someone's shoulders and go. Something like that. No. I don't know, start singing something ridiculous. Are we going off of platform nine and three quarters then? I'm so sorry. <laughs> are, are we going to Hogwarts? Which I need to finish that dang game. <sighs> but that's a game for another time. Oh lord, Jason Statham's on this train. My god.
That's it. Oh, hello. I don't have time to play. No, no, no. I'm on duty. <laughs> You're funny, but you don't look like a real cop. You don't even have a revolver. Uh, toy gun. Why do you need the gun? It's the Raven. He was gunned down, so now I need a pistol. Dead birds don't need guns, mm -hmm. nor do live ones. You don't know who the Raven is, do you? He's the greatest burglar ever. He stole paintings from the Louvre, and those priceless eggs with gold and diamonds and stuff. And Bobby Dobbs says he replaced the crown jewels with rhinestones. I know who the Raven was, although I don't quite buy that Isn't bit the about the crown jewels. Uh, you do know these days there are thieves far more dangerous than your old raven. Two days ago, a precious ruby was stolen from the British Museum. There was an explosion. A guard was severely injured. Really? Yeah. And do you know what the papers say? <clears throat> what about the policeman? You talk too much, Constable. That I do. Zellner, monsieur. Anton Jacob Zellner. Or... Did he pull a gun on you? No, monsieur. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> he, he, see? The pistol in his hand. Inspector Legrand, it's a great honor to work with a celebrity like you. We appreciate the support of the Swiss police, but it'd be better if you'd remain seated and keep an eye on things. French. But I'm... monsieur, surely I can be French, Swiss, somehow. English. I saw a safe being loaded. We have everything under control. If you'll excuse me, I'll be in the first freight car at the back of the train for the rest of the trip. I'm not here to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I, I am a first good observer, freight car at the and I back. have finally honed powers of deduction. Thanks to that. Hey, books I can do wondrous the things. On the platform in Zurich, I know, for example. That that man over there is a violinist. <laughs> that would be more impressive if there weren't a violin case next to him. True. And I believe that the gentleman in the next carriage is a German doctor on his way to Italy to take up a new position. <laughs> and what gives you that idea? There's the rod of Asclepius engraved on his cufflink. And he's carrying a German-Italian dictionary. Maybe he's just taking a holiday in Italy, following in Goethe's footsteps. Too much luggage. And no, he's not retiring to Italy either. The suitcases are too shabby for me to believe that he can afford to retire in his late fifties. All right then, Constable... Zellner. Constable Zellner. If you're such a clever fellow, what am I doing on this train? Um... Guarding I something. I think you're guarding something. Oh, really? And what might it be? The safe? I really couldn't say. But it must be very important. Why is that? Because you are very important. They wouldn't have assigned the case to you if it were just a trifle. True. <laughs> Let's assume that we really are transporting something very important on this train. And let's assume that it really is my job to see that it arrives safely. Then why isn't the train crawling with police? Um... To not arouse suspicion. Yeah. More men would be unnecessary. No, you not don't arouse. want to arouse attention. If you don't, but why not? There are enough police on this train as it is. If there were more, they'd only get in each other's way. I can assure you that I'd pack every seat in every carriage of this train with police, if it were a matter of deterrence. You're saying you don't want to scare off potential thieves? Ah, you're laying a trap. That would explain why it's just me, and not the army, Nespan. All the same, I can't comment on your speculation. Well, you just confirmed that it. That is impressive, I admit. But the fewer people involved, the better. We'll get along fine without you. You won't. No. Won't? Pardonnez-moi. I can help. And I will help. Mm -hmm. You're in my country, and I've been ordered to assist you. And that's exactly what I'll do, whether you like it or not. Hmm, clever and stubborn. Your commitment speaks volumes, Zana. But this is my show, and I don't need you. Bon 
voyage. Bon voyage. How do you know? He probably just knows. Oh, hello. Hello. You cheated. I did nothing what? of the sort. I saw you talking to the German doctor on the platform. Oh. He told you <laughs> everything himself, and you were just pretending to put two and two together. And what of it? Do you know who that is? That's Inspector Nicholas Legrand. You have to impress him if you want to work with him. I'm going to tell on you. You'd really tell on me? To the very policeman who shot your dear Raven? Whoa. It was him? Mm-hmm. Hunted and killed Europe's most famous burglar. That's how he got his start. I won't tell him a thing. I wouldn't either. What's your name again? Matthew Miller from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. All right, Matthew Miller from Dillsburg, Pennsylvania. I have to do my work now. Everyone calls me Matt. Well, except for my mom. She calls me Maddie, as if I were a little kid. Didn't need to know that, man. Whether Legrand wants my help or not, I'll keep my eyes open. Maybe I can change his mind. Possibly. Yes! <laughs> I want the tutorial. <laughs> this morning, I thought I wouldn't be hungry because of all the excitement. Thankfully, I bought a sandwich in the anyway. Yeah. And an apple. What the... Okay. This is the most confusing mechanics I've ever seen. Open inventory. I wrapped the apple core in the sandwich paper. That way I can carry it without making a mess of my trouser pocket. Still, I'd prefer okay. not to have to carry them all day. There. Um... So I can combine napkin. With the napkin the... came with the croissant I bought at the train station. A guilty pleasure. I don't need that either. You have a, bizarre, a very bizarre way of folding. Every table has its own waste basket. Huh. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. Very, very Every good. table has its own waste basket. Yes, yes, yes. Practical. No need to ever leave your seat. There we go. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> um. All right. Okay. And a loading screen. Fantastic. I don't know what to make of this game so far, but I do know that I'm going to leave this one here. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. If you liked it, you know what to do. Keep things crazy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.